Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today I am heading over to Hobby Lobby to see if they have any new decor out. I've mentioned in a few videos back that I've been wanting to stop by Hobby Lobby and see if they are restocking some of their tabletop decor in my store recently. They have completely cleared all of the shelves. All of those items were clearanced out and I've been so curious to see what they're going to restock that section with. It is springtime right now, so I want to go through all of the spring florals. I've been through the front of the store, the main floral section, and then the aisles that are labeled spring, but I wanna actually jump back towards the flower bushes and greenery and see if we can find any pretty hidden gems there. We're also going to just walk through the store, see what they have out right now for this time of year. I'm also looking for a few gardening type supplies. I'm about to put together like a little potting bench in my outdoor garden area. So I have garden things on the brain and I wanna go see what they have because the last time I went a few months ago, they didn't have any of that stuff out yet. I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me. I always love taking you guys into Hobby Lobby or any stores and shopping together. So if you do enjoy these, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead to Hobby Lobby. All right, we are now in Hobby Lobby, and the first thing that caught my eye were these vases. I've never seen these ones before, but I thought they were a great price. I'm gonna try to grab them when they are half off, but I feel like they are an amber interior dupe. I also loved this black one. I've never seen that one before either. So now let's head to the florals in the aisles where they have like all of the greenery bushes. So here are some of the spring ones. I thought these would be pretty mixed into a flower arrangement. I also thought these are really pretty as well. I think they're supposed to be Queen Anne's lace. And then their lavender, I feel like if you added different foliage with it, it would be beautiful as well. But I thought the lavender part at the top was very realistic. Now we're heading back to the rugs. Um, my Hobby Lobby has an entire section of rugs now, and I really like that. Here are some of my favorites. They were in all different sizes. This one was a runner. I almost grabbed it for my kids' bathroom, but I'm gonna wait until they are on sale. Now we're heading over to the spring shop line section. I love this basket. Um, I've shown it before in a video in my first Hobby Lobby spring shop with me and love it. Um, and then I noticed that they filled in some of the tabletop decor area with some organization finds. So they have this new brand called Nook and Company. I love this soap dispenser, $4.50. I feel like that's a great deal. I just bought some similar at Aldi um, for the same price. So lots of good organization finds there in the spring shop line they also had a good variety of gardening supplies they had several different ways that you could label your plants which i really liked i also thought these tools were very beautiful this copper wind chime was stunning it was a really big size as well and then as far as their planters go here are a few that caught my eye they are a little bit overpriced in my opinion, um, but they are 40% off. These faux concrete ones are probably my favorite. However, they are plastic, so I don't know. I don't know if 30-ish dollars would really be worth it, um, especially for the smaller ones. Those are still over 20. Um, and I have found some from Walmart that are similar that I probably like just as much. These large ones were probably my favorite, but they were over $200 and they were just a plastic material. So I'm going to pass on those. Um, I thought this was a cute little container to put your seeds in as well. Um, and this one was right at $20 and all of the spring shop line was 40% off. This hanging basket is one of my favorites. I actually bought this last year and I have it in my daughter's room. Here are some small tabletop 
planters that I thought were cute. This watering can with the copper detail is also cute. I have this landscape art picture in my dining room. I bought it several years back, but Hobby Lobby still has it out. And if you're looking for a good citronella candle, they did have several to choose from that were a very large size, but were a little bit on the pricier end. So here's just an overview of all of the planters that they have to offer. This little gardening caddy could be used in so many different ways. They also had some cute gardening gloves and aprons and bags that you could carry around with all of your supplies in. Again, some more little signs saying what the plants are. Tiny little birdhouses. I also thought this boot holder was cute. It's like in a copper color. They have some more gardening and landscaping supplies. They also had this glass preserving starter kit. So if you wanted to do water bath canning, um, that would be a good way to start. I thought that was really neat. Here are a few of the outdoor pillows that caught my eye. And then they had an entire section of plates and bowls that you could use that were meant for outside. So I love that. They also had these really pretty serving platters. Um, lots of things, lots of good things, and I feel like the prices were pretty reasonable. Now we're heading over to the area where they used to have their tabletop decor. Um, I've noticed this market square line is new, or at least I think it's new. Um, they had some aprons, some kitchen items, and I feel like that was the theme of this new section. It was all kitchen things. These little bowl covers were really cute. I almost picked those up, but I had just ordered some on Amazon, so didn't really need them. They also had more organization finds like these really pretty jars that I loved. Um, I also looked at a little bit of wall decor, but I wasn't really shopping for that today. And as I glanced through, they didn't really have anything new. I did think those little jars were neat for homemade salad dressings for the summer. This bowl would be so pretty um, with a big salad in it. And it was a great price. I think it was $12.99. I also loved these mugs. They were right at $5. And then they had some like coffee station items that I thought were cute. The milk frother and a little scoop for your coffee. This little honey dispenser was cute as well. They also had an aisle full of blankets and I noticed these gauze throws. Okay, I'm back home and I have a very small bag of things that I picked up today from Hobby Lobby. This was the only store that we ended up going to. I was going to pop over to Home Goods or TJ Maxx because I feel like they have some really cute gardening things, just like outdoor things, but I ran out of time. So that'll be for another video. I'm excited to see what they have out now that the weather's getting a little bit warmer. These are kind of random, but they were all in the spring shop line. Items that my Hobby Lobby did not have out during like their first setup of the spring shop line. I feel like they kind of bring things out in stages. You went a few months ago, they may have some newer things out. First is a candle. This scent is Sunburst Melon and it smells so good, so clean. It was $15.99 and it was 40% off, but I love the packaging. I thought this would be so beautiful in the living room or on our entryway table. This same type of candle came in three different scents. I showed that in the shop with me portion, um, but I loved the packaging on this one. It's just white and gold, very clean. It has this really pretty detail on the lid, um, but they did have other colors as well. I don't remember what the scents were, but the scent was my favorite. So here's the candle. It's so pretty and the lid, don't mind my nails. <laughs> I need to take my fingernail polish off. So beautiful. And it is a double wick candle. Container for my flower seeds, which I thought this was so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put my seed packets in here. And then when I'm ready to go out and plant, I can just take this out to my little potting station and sort through them that way. This will also be a great way to store seeds that I don't end up using. And I can just keep this in like a dark, cool spot and save the seeds for next year. It was originally $19.99 and it was 40% off, so around $11. I thought that was pretty good. You could honestly make something like this yourself if you already have a little container like this and you have like a Cricut machine or something, um, but I really liked the black and white since that's what 
the colors of our the outside of our house are and then i also picked up some gardening gloves because honestly they were just a really good deal i personally like more lightweight gloves that have like this gripper side on them here's what they look like i thought they were so pretty and girly and they were only $2.99 and again they were 40% off. I grabbed a pair of those. They're completely like grippy on the inside but really thin on the outside. And then last but not least some car coasters. So random. This is not decor but these are $3.99 each originally so I feel like that is kind of expensive now that I'm thinking of it but if I was to order some of these on Amazon they'd probably be more but these are in like a really cute little floral print so grab those for the car I'm planning on having our car detailed before the baby's here that is it for today's video hopefully it gave you some inspiration I'm really excited about their whole like organization line they've got going on some new new blankets, some new kitchen stuff. I feel like they're starting to get new stuff out. So hopefully they'll bring more. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.